Wilbert. You're watching KBTX News 3, the people you know, the news you trust. Joe, big money Wilbert was a star for the A&M basketball team in the 90s. In fact, he still holds A&M records on the court. KBTX is catching up with prominent Brazos Valley athletes and asking, where are they now? Here's Courtney Burris. Joe Wilbert was one of Texas A&M University's leading scorers from 1993 to 1995. He grew up playing basketball in Bryan at East Park, now called Sadie Thomas Park. Um, East Park is where I learned all my basketball skills. I learned all my toughness from people that I grew up with in my neighborhood. So East Park played an important role in my life. Wilbert played forward for the Bryan High Vikings and helped lead them to a district championship his senior year. The 90-91 team is the best team to ever come through Brown High. So we can have that debate on Facebook again if we need to. <laughs> One of his best memories came from his junior year. Oh, so we beat South Fair. I hit the game winning shot right there. Right, over, right there in front of the eye in Viking. Um, I, I made it. And that was the first experience that I ever felt like, wow, okay, I'm a basketball player. After graduation, he spent two years playing at Tyler Junior College before coming to A&M in 1993. Good memories and worst memories of my, my junior year was at Lovell. And little extracurricular activities. A&M just beat Texas Tech by one point. Tech fans weren't happy and a fight broke out. Joe admits it may not have been the best look for him. But, but the Aggie fan base loved me for that moment, so, so um, I'm okay with that. <laughs> While the fight may be something he's known for, Joe is also still ranked second overall in A&M history for number of points scored in a season. After playing basketball professionally in Europe for three years, he came back to the Brazos Valley and worked as a probation officer. Yeah, my first job, my first love was being a probation officer because I always wanted to give back because people always gave to me, so that was always a, a purpose and a goal of my life to, to give back. But now, you'll find Joe back on the court. And now I'm the referee. I'm the guy that everybody want to holler and yell at now. Now people should holler and yell at me to, to score points. Now people holler and yell at me to you know, send a call the right call now. So. So being a fish has been very challenging to me, but I love it. He officiates two or three college games a week. Being a referee keeps him busy, but when he's home, he loves spending time with his family. He has a 17-year-old son that plays basketball for the Woodlands High School and three-year-old twin boys, Jacob and Joseph. Okay, after the season, I'm, I'm kind of like Mr. Mom, but so basically I just be with the boys every day. Wilbert says he's thankful for where basketball has led him and is excited for what's to come. I enjoy being a father, I enjoy being a husband, I enjoy being a man of God, so it's nothing So it's nothing about my life that I will change right now. In Bryan, Courtney Burris, News 3. And in the future, he says he wants to develop a nonprofit organization so he can continue giving back.